Army and Club President has achieved the next level of being a Toastmaster. He's working on one of his advanced manuals. <clears throat> the name of this speech is called The Speech to Inform. It's five to seven minutes long. And here he is, Derek. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests. It's been mentioned before, I think even a couple weeks ago by Lloyd, that public speaking is one of the people's greatest fears. Well, if there has to be a fear greater than public speaking, it might be public criticism. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you got up here, given a speech, only to be moments later in the evaluation to be criticized and receive feedback that just hits through your heart? It's hard, it's hard to evaluate. I've given many speeches in the months prior to now about giving evaluations. I mean, giving a good evaluation is hard, but maybe receiving feedback is even harder than receiving the point of that evaluation. So my speech tonight, I want to give you five points on how you can receive that feedback and criticism gracefully. First is believe that you can change. You take that feedback and that evaluation to heart and first of all say, I want to grab onto this and become better. That's by having that's like having a growth mindset. And that's a new idea that's been popularized in the past 10, 20 years. It it basically summarizes that your ability to learn and develop is not fixed. And that you can change it through effort and intention. And in some of the studies, school children that are taught that if they put their effort into learning, they learn way more than if they're held back and they say, you're only going to learn this much in this grade. The second point in receiving feedback is just learn to tolerate discomfort. Like I like that the speech that Kurt or the quote Kurt had is if you get comfortable with being uncomfortable, it's going to be easier to take that criticism and that feedback. Michael Savage, he's been the number five talk radio show host in the nation. But he didn't achieve that. He was a Russian Jewish immigrant. His father brought him to New York. His father was an antique dealer. He worked in that basement antique store as a child, scrubbing antiques with a toothbrush, breathing in those acetone fumes. His father was a taskmaster. He, <clears throat> but then Michael Savage didn't leave, let that influenced him. He went on to earn a bachelor's degree, two master's degree, a PhD. He traveled the world finding new plants and botany. He wrote many books that are on the New York Times bestseller list, and now he's been on radio for 18 years. He learned to tolerate the discomfort and the criticism of his father and of those around him. And now on radio, I mean, that's the biggest criticism there is. You have people shooting all over. Third is feedback evaluations is all subjective. The person standing up here, in, up here giving you the evaluation of your speech, they have their own experiences. They see your speech through a different light than Eric does, than Lloyd would, or Joe does. We all have different upbringing experiences in life, and we see things differently. And so the feedback and the evaluation we give is going to be different. And so take what's good and throw out the rest. Some of it might be frivolous, some of it might be useful, some of it's subjective. Fourth, identify the positives and your strengths. You want to know just as much as what you did well as what you did wrong in the universe. Dr. Marshall Goldsmith is a consultant to CEOs on leadership. And he says, CEOs do focus on doing the right things and minimizing the wrong things. 
Well, to focus on the right things, you have to know what the right things are and your strengths. You already know you're going to get criticized for the wrong, the things you do wrong. You're going to minimize those, but you want to focus on what you do well. And fifth, learn to listen to what the person is saying, not how they are saying it. Learn to listen to what they are saying, not how they are saying it. Tone can be misinterpreted. Assume the best when you feel like somebody's attacking you for saying something that is really drilling down into your heart. Like, Man, they're really just hammering me on this. Well, maybe it's just the way Joe speaks. His, his normal voice. It might just be drilling you down. <clears throat> so I know it's not hard to get feedback, get that hard evaluation that criticism. The first instinct is to run, to hide, to curl up in the ball. You know? But what if our first instinct is to take a breath, swallow, and say thank you? Because in life, there's going to be waves all, that crash all around us. But if we can learn to surf those waves, we'll look be able to go further down the ocean. In life, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. That means it's all about our perspective. Have the perspective that have the growth mindset to learn from the feedback, and you can take that evaluation, that criticism straight forward. Thank you.